Good morning, everybody. We are in Southern California, and we spent a lot of time in Utah the last couple months, but we are finally on the West Coast, and this morning we are making breakfast because we have a lot of things to do today. There are literally so many campers at this casino. It's funny because when we pulled in yesterday, we didn't really know where we were supposed to go because this is a pretty big casino, and the parking lot is so big. So we were driving around trying to figure out where to go, and a security officer followed us, and they're like, are you guys lost? You guys are supposed to be parked in Lot G. It's around the corner blah 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 all this stuff so we ended up finding it and then we were like holy smokes it looks like an RV resort over here this morning we're making cottage cheese bowls these are really good when you have a really good adventure we put strawberries blackberries banana and also granola on top now that the cottage cheese blackberry and strawberries are in the bowl I want to talk to you about our favorite granola. This brand is absolutely amazing. There's not too many ingredients in here. This fruit and nut flavor, not really my favorite. I like the oats and honey and the vanilla and the chocolate flavor. This one does do a good job at filling you up, but it's not really my favorite. But in terms of ingredients, the worst one really in here, I would say sunflower oil and natural flavor, which are both terrible. But find us a granola that doesn't have either. I think the only other way to avoid all that stuff is to make your own. But if you can't, this stuff's amazing. Ground cinnamon. It's ready, let's eat breakfast and we'll get out of here. How you doing? Yeah, could they go in the back? No, they can't be in here at all. There is no animals inside the property at all. We were trying to get to the Agua Caliente Indian Reservation, and as you saw, they did not let us in because we have our dogs. We did ask if we could put them in the back, and we weren't planning on bringing them on the trail because we knew it was not pet friendly, but we just assumed that was on the trails. So unfortunately, we did drive 40 minutes to that Indian Reservation, and we were not allowed to go onto it, and that kind of was our plan for at least the morning. So now we're driving around, and we're going to figure out what else that we can do in the area. There was another trail that I really wanted to do and it also was in the Indian Reservation and I didn't realize that it was so that is also a no-go. We're so bummed about not being able to go on the Indian Reservation we are so excited to see the palm trees that are native to that area as well as the oasis and wildflowers but now we're gonna try to find a trail that has wildflowers. We made our way over to a trail that isn't too far from where we were and it's busy. It is absolutely packed, so I'm guessing it's a good trail. If we can find a spot, I think it's going to be great and super busy, but I guess we'll find out. There's supposed to be wildflowers on the trail, and I don't see any from here, but I'm sure we'll find some. All right, we found a spot. Since today hasn't gone as expected or as planned, we decided to come over to this trailhead and we're going to do this trail. But first we're having some snacks because now it's been a couple hours since we've had breakfast and we don't really want to hike and get too hungry. So we're going to eat something and also it's actually getting up to 77 degrees now where we are today. So we're going to change or at least I took my fleece off and maybe I'll just put on something lighter over top because it is getting hot today. Cheers. We are doing the Randall Henderson Trail. Take it slowly, 
There are a bunch of beautiful desert flowers this spring. I'm sure this trail is beautiful year round, but with all the pops of yellow and purple and pink, it just makes this trail so magical. It's pretty hot out considering about two weeks ago we were in 19, 20, 21 degrees. It does feel nice, but at the same time, it is very hot. We are not used to this kind of weather. The sun is beating down on us and even having sunscreen on, I feel like I'm getting a little red. And we've only been out here for about an hour. So we're headed back to the car now and it is hot. I'm sweating. But yes, I do carry a pretty big Osprey pack when we're hiking because I do have most of our camera gear. And shocker, we actually just got Ashley a backpack yesterday with the REI sale. And so she's excited for that. It's a 40 liter REI trail bag and she's never had a bag that big. So hopefully you're gonna see it on some more adventures. Who's here? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the window up here. We left it open so they wouldn't get too hot, but definitely don't want to drive away like that. Unfortunately, the dogs were not allowed on this trail, so we did have to leave them here. Otherwise, I think they really would have liked that trail. We're back in the car now. That hike was absolutely beautiful. The flowers were great. The trail was amazing, but it was hot. So we want to get something cold to cool ourselves off. And we were told that when you're in this area, you should get a date shake. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're parked outside and we're ready to get a date shake. But look how long we are. We're kind of in the road, but we've seen a few cars go by. So it should be fine. <laughs> All right, this ice cream shop for three years in a row has been voted the top for date shakes. So we're going to do a taste test right here. I mean, it looks good. There's no way it's not going to be good. Oh, it's thick. Yeah. One second, get it. Oh, shoot. I see why. These you see are a fourth year coming for this place? For sure. Fourth year? Fourth year all the way. <laughs> all right. This date shake, never had one before. It's like so thick, so creamy, and there's actual chunks of date in here. And I guess you just made them today and the whipped cream was just freshly made. Oh, 10 out of 10. Would definitely recommend this place. Ask for Angela if you come here. We randomly came upon this place on Google Maps and I would definitely come again. If you find yourself in Palm Springs, make sure you come to Lapert's Ice Cream Store because it was so good and definitely get a date milkshake. I'm sure everything's good, but that was Oh, chef's kiss. While we were drinking our milkshake, we made a plan to go to Anza Borrego State Park, which is actually the largest state park in the lower 48 at 650,000 acres, which is absolutely huge. It's in three different counties. And we're really excited to go because there are the native palm trees there that we wanted to see this morning, as well as more wildflowers and a stream and waterfalls. And we just think it's gonna be beautiful. So we're driving about an hour and a half away to go to it. And I think it'll definitely be worth it. We're still 39 minutes away from the state park, but it is taking us on this really random bumpy road. And I think we're on here for another quarter mile and then we make a turn. So hopefully we get off this road because it's literally just bumpy in the middle of nowhere. I pay a day pass. Uh, yeah, it's 10 bucks. Do you have any dogs in here? I do. Uh, dogs are not allowed on the camp. Uh, any of the camp. So That's fine. I'm going to keep them in the back. They can't be left unattended in here. We just paid for the state park and we've been in the state park now for about 30 minutes driving, but there are only certain parts that you actually do have to pay for. But the trail that we want to do is in a paid section. But as we were going through, we thought that we were going to get turned around because we had our dogs and we were like, we're not going to take them on the trail with us. They're like, well, you can't leave it in your car. You can't leave the dogs in your car. We're, like, we're not going to leave them in the car. We're going to leave them in the camper, which is their house. And then he was saying that you need to have the AC on even though it's 75 degrees out. I don't know, really interesting situation. We made it through and it's fine, but we were gonna be a little bit upset if we drove an hour and a half and then got turned away yet again because of our dogs.
We're on the trail now and we just saw a sign that said it is lambing season, which is basically when the female sheeps give birth to lambs. So it says if you do come across them, it's okay to like look at them and stuff, but try not to distract them because they need to be going to the water, getting water, food and all that. So we might have a high chance at seeing them. So far we have come from very far back that way and we are headed all the way up over there and there's supposed to be a waterfall and a stream and then we're supposed to be able to find some native California palm trees. So stick along, I don't think we're too far. We have picked up our pace a little bit because it's getting dark-ish. I mean, we still have like an hour, but you don't really want to be caught outside anywhere hiking when it's too late. So we're moving, we're getting there. Most people are on their way back and we're on our way there, which means at least it's going to be empty. And that's how we like it anyways. But I do hear the water. I do hear the water it's too. Oh, we're getting close. And we might not hike in the dark at night, but we'll definitely start early in the morning when it's dark out. Oh yeah, we love to start in the morning when it's pitch black out and then the light comes up, but it's a little bit scarier when it's light and you're losing darkness. <laughs> All right, so I believe that's the waterfall down there and the Palm Oasis is right up there. We made it to the end of the trail. Behind us is the Palm Oasis, and here lies a cluster of fan palms surrounded by water where a lot of diverse wildlife actually thrive on the water here. And so the palm trees actually hold the area together, and the water is fed from elsewhere, but this is a very special place in the desert, and it's just so special to sit here and listen to the water rush and the wind go through the trees. Let us let you enjoy it too. back to the car we have about 20 minutes until the sun sets I think we'll make it back in no time but everyone else is gone when we got over here there were still about five ten people maybe and everyone cleared out so I think it's our time to leave unfortunately once we got here there were no sheep no lamb no lambing none of that stuff that they warned you about at the trailhead we asked plenty of people on our way up if there were gonna be any sheep or anything to see when we got here and they were not and so we're a little upset about that but just be aware if you do come and there are Keep your distance, watch from a distance. A good rule of thumb is to put your thumb out and close one eye, and if you're covering them up with your thumb, they're far enough away. And that goes for every animal's bears, mountain lions, all of it. Don't be so close to where you're doing this and they're literally like, you know, still in your face. Make sure you're covering them up with your thumb. All right, time to go back across. So we do have another river crossing. We had one up towards the oasis, and now there's one here to walk along the river all the way back because we did take the longer route up, so we should be down a lot faster, or at least that's what everybody said. Ooh.
clearly it's very dark, but we're making it back to the camper. And I don't know if you can see me, but we're gonna find somewhere to stay for the night around here. And then we'll make some food and go to sleep. <laughs> we found a camp spot that is about 15 minutes away from the trailhead that we were at. It's still in the state park and we're gonna make something to eat. I'm actually making two ingredient naan bread. I've never made it before, but I found a recipe on Instagram and it's literally just flour or self-rising flour, which I don't have. So I'm just going to add baking powder to that and then Greek yogurt. I think it's gonna turn out good, but like I said, I never made it before. So let's do it. So it's one and a fourth cup of flour. All right, so that's the flour and I'm gonna add half a teaspoon. And then one cup of yogurt. We're just using Greek yogurt. And we're gonna add some garlic to it because I feel like that would be good. Got our tiny little whisk. Mix it all up. All right, I've resorted to using my hands to mix it up because it definitely <laughs> works a lot better and it is forming a dough. So I'm just gonna keep rolling it up to get everything from the bottom. And then we'll cut it into pieces. All right, so now I'm gonna cut it into like five pieces, I think. Or maybe six might be easier. All right, now I have the six pieces and then I'm just going to roll them out individually and then we'll fry it on the pan. Just like to use a little bit of oil to coat it and then I'll go in with my mini rolling pin <laughs> it doesn't really work so well I bought it in like a set and it's cute it fits in small spaces but doesn't work the best there you go I feel like that's pretty good plop it on and I'm gonna put a tiny bit more oil on the top spray it with something, well, I guess my finger, <laughs> and then some cilantro. I think that looks pretty legit, I'm not going to lie. Alright, it's only been like a minute or two, but let's just see what it looks like. Ooh. Like a pancake. Should I flip it yet or not yet? Yeah, try it. might be a little bit thick. Maybe I'll make the next one a little bit thinner, but it looks pretty good. We just had dinner. The naan bread was so good. If you're going to try it out yourself, make sure you roll out the dough a little bit more so it's a little flatter. But we do thank you for watching the video this far. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell to be notified for when we post next. We hope that you got some good Southern California inspiration for when you do travel to the area. But until next time, stay tuned. <laughs>